Good evening, everybody. We are coming to you live. How are you going there, Roscoe? This is your show. What's happening, mate? Afternoon. How are you? Yeah, yeah, good. Not too bad. All excited for Team List Tuesday, which, of course, has just dropped for all those that uh, don't know. I'm blind as a bat. I need glasses. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah. That's all right. That's all good. All right, well, yeah. let's rip into it, eh? Yeah, um, mate. So we're, we're, we're up to round seven already. First game, we've got the Roosters versus the Storm. Uh, for the Roosters, Teddy's back from his concussion. Uh, so Manu shifts back to the centres. And then uh, uh, you've also got Egan Butcher on the defence. Satili Tupanu's out with a HIA. Um, Sam Walker's been named on the extended bench, obviously, providing he passes his um, concussion protocols. He will be into the team, and Suwali goes back onto the wing. Uh, and for the Storm, Big Nash plays his first game um, for the Storm this year at prop. Uh, Cameron Kamika's out injured, and then Joe Chan comes onto the bench, replacing uh, Moreau, who's out injured. Um Brad, um, your thoughts on this one? It should be a cracking game, I think. Oh. Too. Um, two ga- two teams in pretty good form at the moment. Um, what's your thoughts on? I'm interested to see what's your thoughts on trading Imanu this week with him back to the centres. He's pretty oh, well, highly I, traded yeah. in this week. <laughs> I wouldn't um, be trading him in this week, but look, he's not going to lose your cash. So yeah. I mean, you know, there's no real danger there, but Melbourne, just bear in mind, folks, Melbourne is probably the most miserly team with super coach points on the planet. Um, so he is coming up against a defensive unit that doesn't like giving away uh, free points to uh, super coaches. And of course, Manu going back to the centers, that's also, you know, a, a bit of a, a bit of a kick in the butt. I don't know. I For winger, um, winger center position, there might be a few other options out there. You, can, you certainly can consider a few other ones, that's, which are juicy. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure he's a critical trade-in, no. But I he's think, not going to lose money. Yeah, I think I think it, there's a lot of people going to be trading at Hammer this week, obviously, but I just think that there's better options. Um, I don't think it's too early either, and I'm sure you agree with me to, not to, to start looking at um, players who are going to play those main buys as well. Because yeah. it's coming on. It's only another six weeks till we're there. So yeah. I think this is about the time you need to start looking at that. So there is a couple of players who we'll talk about later on that I think are really good options as well yeah. that yeah. do cover a fair chunk of those uh, main buys as well. Um, yeah. Brad, the other one's hot, obviously popular as, as well as Angus as well. Um, 459K, uh, negative break even of minus 22. Coming off a couple of decent 80 scores. Um you keen on him, Brad, this week? Well, looking at that bench, I am at the moment. But you, yeah, we've seen with Robbo this year the bench sort of sort of means nothing. But it is the first game, so we'll get a pretty good early look at it. I am keen on him. Um, yeah, just very simple. Uh, the other one I mentioned, of course, Joe Chan. A lot of people have him. Um, don't panic if you've seen him there. I know he's a bit of an AE nightmare, but uh, with a BE of only um, ten. He's not going to. He's probably going to make it a little bit of cash. So, yeah, he's he's not a panic. Get rid of just yet. Where do you see him coming on? Do you think he plays some lock? Because I'd well, imagine Bloor and I'd imagine Bloor and Katara, uh, Katara will both play eighty. Uh yeah, I do. I do see him coming on out, uh, in the middle. Um, he certainly does have a frame that could carry a fair bit of workload through the middle. Uh, so I mean, that's got to be the role he fulfills. He's yeah. There's no other really role there for him, I don't think. Yeah. Anything else on this game, Brad, before we move on to the next one? No, I don't really think so. I think it's all pretty, um, you know. Oh, um, Sean Bloor, Brad. Your yeah. thoughts on Sean Bloor? Um... Well, yeah, I, I, I do. Yeah, sorry, but it is a miss. Yeah, yeah I do I do like him. Uh, Bellamy has suggested that he will be playing 80 minutes going forward. It was just a matter of getting him some game time and getting his fitness levels up, and he thinks he's nearly there. Um, and that that edge spot is really his to lose. So, you know, he's about the same price as Angus. Yep. The only difference is the BE and the cash growth is possibly a little different. So, yeah. Yep. Okay. Good day to Jared Watson, who's tuning in. Hey, Jared. Yeah, we're good, mate. We're doing all right. Uh, hope Come you're doing your... well, mate. Um, thanks for tuning in. Good to see another f- Trello tragic Tiger supporter in here as well. <laughs> <laughs> on your what uh, all right, let's move on to the next game. Dragons versus the Warriors. For the Dragons, um, Jack Bird's out with a HIA. 
Zach, Zach Lomax shifts to the centres and Christian Tupolotu will make his debut for the Dragons on the wing. For the Warriors, just the one change. Uh, Joe Stavanger is out with an injury and Adam Pompey comes on to the bench. Now, I think we should talk about Zach Lomax. Obviously, he's highly traded in this week. I do not like this trade-in with him playing centres this week, though, Brad. Uh, no, 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 you wouldn't... Um... Yeah, you wouldn't think this is the best sort of uh, a move this week. <laughs> uh, but he's going to, people ask, oh, look, I'm a Zach Lomax owner. I'm spewing. I'm mm. spewing. Yeah. Um, I, but, you know, geez, what's Lomax is going to be off. What a juicy matchup that is. Uh, Roger Tuivasa said versus Lomax, right? Um, but we'll see. Uh, top of a lot against DWZ, you know. Uh, is that how you pronounce his name? Tupolotu or Tupolotu? Tupolotu? Oh, Tupolotu. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> no, I, I don't know either. I'm the world's worst. We, we, we names. should not. We should not try and pronounce these names, no. Brad. We just shouldn't do it. <laughs> no. um, I will make a, a quick shout out. Uh, Mitch Barnett has a very low be there too. He's mm. certainly one. If you're stuck at the front row, he's got a lovely dual position, um, and you're gonna do a lot worse because he is absolutely playing the house down at the moment with some. Half decent minutes there. So, couple of ones I want to throw in there, Brad. Jaden Sua, he's been killing it for the Dragons, and another yeah. one for the Warriors is also um, Toe Harris as well, Brad. Yeah, no, both both quality. The problem with Sua, he probably got away from us a bit. He started the season uh, at about five hundred thousand, he's now about six and mm. six, you know, six fifty. So he's um his his price has quickly crept up while he's quietly gone along and. Uh, going about his business and getting some really cracking scores. So, yeah, the other a... one we can't forget to talk about, Brad. I think a lot of people are looking to trade out Luke Brooks. Um, thoughts on Team Marie Martin, Brad? Uh yeah. Well, he's got a yeah, he's going to make a cash. I got I got no real thoughts. He could be good. Mm. Um, well, I would have thought people would have other problems, but if that's the biggest problem you've got. Uh, you're doing pretty bloody good, mate. Get to yeah, get to Maria. He's looking all right. He's he as I said, he's got a, a good break even there, which is going to make a skip later cash. Um, yeah, so yeah, no, there's nothing wrong with that. No, not at all. I don't hate it, but I I think I prefer the idea, Brad. If you're going to trade out Brooks, is to move Strange up from from the centres to five eighths and bring in a gun centre wing or a oh. fullback or or not a fullback, sorry, either centre or a, a second rower. Or bring Iro in. Mm. Really yeah. bank some cash, right? Yeah. Now, there's a bloke that looks like he's almost, but we'll get to that game. Yeah. But he, he looks as safe as houses in that position at the moment because, yeah, we'll discuss that in a minute. <laughs> well, um, just quickly on DWZ, Brad, I really like him. I think the Warriors have got a really good draw. Um, liking him outside SJ on that side as well. And uh, I'm pretty sure they cover a couple of the main buys too. So, yeah. Um. I'm really, really keen on him. I think he's a great option to replace uh, Hammer for those that are selling. Well, I'm going Hammer straight to him. It's about twenty thousand difference, yeah. and I've made no secret of it. I I don't make many secrets in my team. What I'm doing. But will week. you stick with the trade yeah. though? That's the question. Yeah. Well, at the <laughs> moment, it doesn't look like there's too many injuries blocking me. So no, I, no. I'd say that that's um. And Hammer, not, I can't afford to have seven hundred k sitting there doing jack. So yeah. I've, I've got to, yeah, I've got to bring someone in that's half a gun and it's going to fill that hole nicely. Yeah. All right. Anyone else, Brad, before we move on to the next game? That you... No. No. All right. Eels versus the Dolphins. Um, For the Eels, just the one change. Uh, cheapy Blaze Tulungi has got a bench spot with um Kima, Kelma Tulagi dropping out. And for the Dolphins, uh, obviously Hammers out injured. Trey Fuller will play fullback. Uh, Max Plath returns from suspension at locks. Uh, Raystone goes to the bench. Hubner drops out. And then the MILF is suspended. And Sean O'Sullivan comes on to the bench. I don't think there's much here to like, Brad. I mean, obviously, Talangi, as soon as he steps on that field, he's going to make us some cash for those who held. Um, I don't think there's much else there to like from the Eels. I mean, hop good if you trade him, if you can bring him in, brilliant. I don't like anyone else in that team. Whoa. Man, yeah. Look, it, it, look it, you know, uh, Dylan Brown, good on people for holding because you're going to get, yeah, I think you're going to get some benefits. Yeah, you, you sold, didn't you? Yeah, I sold him. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I was pretty right. happy when I saw him. He was only in 60s <laughs> until I saw the updates. Yeah. I'm like, 
But but I did trade him to Joey Manu, right? We did discuss yeah. this on the Sunday pod, so I think I've done okay out of it. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to lose any <laughs> sleep over it somehow. Um, but, obviously, for the Dolphins, Brad, there's a couple to keep an eye on. They play all three of the major buyers. Um, Joe Manosako is one to keep an eye on once he drops some cash, which he already is. And obviously, the other one's JMK. Yeah, both are big on my radar at the moment, just waiting for the right time and the right price. Um, yeah, interesting that Fuller got the fullback spot. Honestly, I, th- I think we, between us all, we were having a discussion during the week and mm. we, we sort of threw up four different names that could fill that position. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Asako and Tessie New both went to the Dolphins with the promise that they would play fullback. Guess what? They've never played fullback. <laughs> yeah, I thought, mate, I, there was those two. There was obviously, obviously, Cody Rick, Nicarima was another one and also Jake Avarillo too. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. I, 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 all I can say is that I wouldn't be trading Trey Fuller in. I don't know what position is available. Though. I'll have a quick look now and just see. Um, but I don't think you could trade him in. I just think the the job security is not there. That's the problem. Um, yeah. yeah. So, just looking now. Oh, there you go. He's not even listed yet in Super Coach, which I don't oh, understand why because he played a game last year. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure he, he, he played last year. Too. He did play yeah. a game last year. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, let's move on then um, to Panthers versus the Mighty Tigers. Um, game of the round. <laughs> game of the round. <laughs> a game of the round. Game of the round. Look at those. For the Panthers, Scott Sorensen returns from injury. So Joel, um, Joel, God, I meant to say Joel Garner. Yes. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. Garner drops back. Luke Garner drops back to the bench. Um, and Matt Allison, who drops out. For the Tigers, they've got a few changes with players coming back. Alvin returns from suspension at 5'8". Um, Jaden Sullivan's out of the team completely, thank goodness. John Bateman returns from his um, HIA. Safer goes back to the bench. Both Samuela and Leitu Fainu come back onto the bench, returning from a HIA and an injury. Um, then you've got Sullivan, Matamua, Kapoa and Simpkins all drop out. And Brent Naden replaces Patape. I'm just going to pronounce it as that. In the centers. Fat tape. Fat tape. Fat tape. All right. I'll uh, any 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 um, any mail on May there. Play, well, say. he's been named, but the rumors yeah. were he wasn't going to be playing. Yeah. So my mail is about as good as your mail. He has been named. I I, I would keep an eye on for final teams on that. Um, I think there's a couple here we need to talk about, Brad. Not so much from the Tigers, but more from the Panthers. There's a couple of – another couple options here. I really like his hammer replacements. One's obviously Brian Tottle. And I think the other sneaky pod is um, Taruva too. But I would prefer Taruva when, um, when Cleary's back into that team, though. But both good options, I think. Yeah, look, I'm not really interested in Taruva, and I'll be honest there. I, I haven't even looked at him. It's just uh, there's just so many other options that are ahead of him, so he just yeah. hasn't quite. Um, I have looked at two. Uh, to- oh, yep. oh, God, I've got your disease. To- can, can, oh. <laughs> can, you, can you imagine Joel Garner up against Jason Saab? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> who would get the who would get the ball? Who would get can, the catch? Yeah. Can we can we throw Zach Lomax in there too? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brian. To- oh, um, oh, I did look at him this week. I think his mm. BE is around about 120, 130. 132, bro. Yeah, 130. There you go. Mm. So he, he's still quite up there. So I I'm, I sort of did a bit of maths and I'm figuring uh, in two weeks' time he's going to be one that you really want to be looking at. So he's probably got a couple of price mm. uh, unless he goes absolutely berserk. Oh, which he could tries. do. He could easily yeah. do. If he scores For three sure. tries here and goes nuts, then, yeah, we're all in the shitload of trouble. <laughs> yeah, we, won't, no. we won't be able to afford him for weeks. But, He'll be up over it, 800K soon if we're not yeah. careful. Yeah. Um. So I did I did have a, a sneaky look, but, yeah, mm. but not for me just at the moment. Yep. Yeah. He's only 4% owned, so he's an Uber pod, but, yeah, God, far out. Um, Not a bad draw coming up. Tigers, Cowboys, Souths. <laughs> So, um, and then the Bulldogs after that. So it's not bad. But um, anyone else, Brad, you like from this game at all? Any Tigers players take your interest at all? No. No. No, not really. Um, 
No. I mean, I, I've certainly got to watch on uh, uh, Key Poa, but he's gone and been not even named. He's in the reserve, so um, quite bizarrely. Um, uh, yeah, he, I, I he, find that he, very he, interesting too because I would much rather have him on the bench over bloody young Safar, that's for yeah. sure. He's, he's got a nice dual centre, uh, second rower, mm. so he's definitely won. Uh, when he does get a game again, he's going to come in with a very low BE and make a ton of cash. So yeah. do keep a watch on for him. Um, but apart from that, oh, Liam Henry, we've got to mention him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, AE a. Nightmare is back sitting there on the bench now. Yeah. Yeah, which is not which is not great because you know you've got um you know ever since um who was it came back from the injury the prop um who was it the injury? Moses Leota no 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 the other one um for James the Panthers Fisher Harris. James Fisher Harris yeah when he got yeah. back you know obviously he, his his minutes went down the gurgler but yeah 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 I just I'm just gonna sit him on my bench and just see what happens with him I don't think he's he's the least of my problems at the moment. Well, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, that, yeah. Anyone who's got him, you you, you would have bigger problems than him. Yeah. All it's right. Just... Next game, Brad, is the Titans versus your Manly, despite the fact that you're wearing an eel shirt at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was out chopping oh, fire. I was out please. chopping firewood, and I wanted a shitty shirt to wear that I could ruin. Quite. I was going to say, why didn't you throw it in the fire? <laughs> um. Yeah. Look, this is a. Uh... Oh. You know, Manly been pretty decimated in the forward stocks there. Josh Alloway, of course, has been rubbed out for putting a fingernail on Sean Johnson. <laughs> don't even start on that again. I don't, man. I don't want really, to. don't. Uh, Aaron Woods gets another chance to go and back into his defensives. You know, he can't run forwards. He's got to run backwards every single time. Nathan Brown returns. Um, and quite interestingly, I guess Matthew Lodge starts for the first game of the year. Mm. Um, for the Titans, I... Oh, don't forget, Ger- Ruben Garrick's back from concussion. You've also oh, yeah, got Burbo yeah. and Sipley both out too. Um, Garrick, Garrick is a real big one to to keep a watch on. Mm. His BE is just touch over 100, I do mm. think. I did have a good look at him this week. I thought, geez, I could probably wait another couple of weeks yet and I will be jumping all over him, particularly... If Zach Lomax in the centre starts to stink it up or he loses interest now, he's signed a, a multi-million dollar contract for a few yeah, years. So, far out. Um, yeah, so depending upon how Lomax goes, he could well become mm. a, a nice uh, move um, into Garrick. Garrick can be lovely over that origin period. What do you reckon on the Titans? Oh, I don't know what Des is doing. I mean, you've got Jaden Campbell out injured and he's got name Philip Sammy at fullback. Oh, like, surely to God, there's better options than this. Like, you've got um, Keno Kinney, who's been, who did a good job filling it in there, but then you could easily put AJ Brimson back at fullback, too. I, I'm just, <laughs> I don't know what to say, Brad. <laughs> Honestly, I don't get it. I don't know. He's a, mad, he's a mad scientist. What do you want me to say? He's crazy. He's fucking crazy. Um, obviously, Dave fafita has been named to start this week, but he was last week and then came off the bench. Um, he's definitely another one to keep an eye on, Brad. Um, I don't think he plays Origin this year, so I think he's a pretty safe. Um, but I haven't had a look ahead to see what buys he plays in either, but hopefully he can drop some more cash. Yeah, yeah he's another tall poppy that's dropping in cash. I'd so certainly want to keep an eye on you. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't think there's anything else to discuss from this game, is there? I mean, we spoke about Luke Brooks. What's your thoughts on him? You think if he didn't have any issues, you think you'd be selling him this week or you think you can hang on to him for this match? Oh, if I didn't have any issues, I'd put Strange up there. I'd sell him, put Strange up there. And personally, that's the way mm. my teams work Yeah, because I've got Strange in my, my centres. So yeah. um, I would be doing that, but I do have other issues which I've got to fry. So a 50 from Brooks isn't going to be the worst thing that's going to happen in the world. He's not going to lose too much more. He's lost about all the cash for the little while I think he's going to lose. So as long as he can keep putting up around about a 45 to 55, he, his money's going to stay reasonably sort of steady. He might yeah. drop a little bit this week, but then he'll just steady out. Um, the only interesting one here is Tommy Turbo. A lot of people will be going vice-captaining, I would imagine, in this game. Yeah, because I don't some... think there's. I, I I had a look, Brad, I, and unless you've got SJ, who'd be a prime candidate for VC VC this week against the 
the Dragons, they re- it's there really isn't much to choose from this week for VCs or Cs this week, Brad. It's t- there's some tough matchups. Yeah, yeah. Later on in the round here, we'll get we're about to get to some of the captains' choices, I think. Mm. But um, yeah, that's why I said that Turbo could be a nice VC sort yeah. of option. Right. What's right, next mean? game is the Broncos versus the Raiders. So for the Broncos, no changes. They're all sweet. For the Raiders, Zach Hoskins out injured. So Atta Mariota will start on the edge. And Simi Sagi, Sasagi comes onto the bench. Um, Atta Mariota's an interesting one, Brad. Um, if he can hold that spot. He's available at front row, 331K, a uh, break even of minus 13. Wow, I didn't realize he was that cheap. There you mm. go. It is interesting. Minus 13, 100 more, 140K less than Angus. Mm. Wow. But only available oh. front row, though. He's not dual. Oh, so he's not dual? No, no. he's not. He's front that's, row only. That's quite weird. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, no, I'll probably go Angus still. <laughs> um, Sheila holds his spot obviously as well for those who bought him in last week and you made 150k yeah. last week step on the field this week make another god knows how much again this week too um, still no Haas or Pia Kura for the Broncos Brad either I think they're due back round 8 which is next week um, Xavier Savage Xavier Savage is an interesting one Brad I, I'm not as a trade in but I'm seeing a lot of people trade him out this week. He has made a ton of cash. He is at 500k. He's he's done his job, I think. But I'm, I'm I think I've got more problems. I'm going to wait another week, and he's got a break even of about 40. So I'm happy to ride him out for another week. But um, your thoughts? Uh, I don't have him, but I, yeah, I would be holding at the moment. I don't. Um, I think he'd probably got another couple of weeks in him. He's, he's not the worst. Mm. I think they got a good match after this as well. Uh, Canberra, they're back at home. Um, no, I, yeah, but it depends, you know, if he's, you want to protect your cast as much as possible, I guess that he's right on the cusp of being a sell, yeah. Going to throw another one out there, Brad, as a bit of an option for Hammer that I was looking at earlier. I probably won't go there myself, but your thoughts on Selwyn Cobbo? Wow, very attack dependent. Oh, mm. I have had a look at him, but he, his stats are all, I mean, just, yeah, nearly 80% all in attack. Um, which really differs from the likes of some of the ones we mentioned, uh, To'o, DWZ, yeah, Greg Marzu, who do have a fair bit of base behind them, which makes them always so attractive. So really it depends. It, you know, it depends how you're flying. It depends if you're a, a balls-to-the-wall sort of person and you don't mind taking a risk, then Selwyn's probably a guy. Um, yes, he's going really well one week, bad the next. It's all attack dependent. Yeah. If he gets the ball, then you're going to get a good night. Yeah. All right, we'll move on to the next game then. Bulldogs versus the Knights. Uh, for the Dogs, Sam Hughes has been named a prop. Let's see if he actually starts there or not. Um, Palasa goes back to the bench. Connor Tracy's been named at fullback. Critter goes back to the centres. Black Taff is on the bench. And Kurt Moran replaces Turpin on the bench. Oh, God, Brad, this... This uh, makeup of this team could be anything. Looking at that um, bench and the extended bench, you got Max King there. Um, that shambles, mate. <laughs> um, well, we were just talking about captains, vice captains. I think Ponga, if fit, is a very good captain's mm. choice here. Um, and oh, I haven't virtually heard a single report about his fitness. Have you? No, nothing. Absolutely I've been, nothing. I've been scouring the 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 sources everywhere. Even some of the inside ones where we get a little bit of info from the Knights have failed to get us anything. Um, yeah. They do look a much better team on paper when you just look at this. Um, uh, Lucas, back to an edge again. Yes. yes. Well, he's still, well, he's been playing there the last couple of weeks. I think Frizzell's due back next week. Yep, yep. I don't think you could trade him in, though, because he'll go straight back to the bench after Frizzell gets back. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and and as we said, we've we've got the youngest front row I think in in the history of rugby league. I mean, I don't think Chris Patolo's to he's fresh out of New South Wales Cup, and Sam mm. Hughes is only about twenty two himself. Yep, <laughs> it's a it's a pretty wild looking uh, uh, forward rotation there. And then you look mm. at that. I will say one thing though. Um, uh, Max King owns Max King is lurking in the reserves. 
Uh, I actually probably would expect, I reckon, you don't put him in the reserve. But, but what, what do you want some money on on this one? Can we put this in our multi that, that Max King comes in? Oh, okay. <laughs> can we try something? Yeah. Far <laughs> out. God. Right. Um, the other one for the Knights we should keep, you want to keep an eye on is Greg Marzu. Um, came back last week. Yeah. He will drop a bucket ton of cash. Thank goodness he's been named back on the other side again, on the left uh, wing. So hopefully he'll go there, hopefully drop a ton of cash, and he'll definitely be one to keep an eye on. Um, for the Knights, no, nothing else there of interest. I don't think Brady's there. I mean, yeah. yeah. Just have to hope the Ponga plays because it's the second last game of the round. Won't yeah. be able to do much about it if he doesn't play. So, um, All right, last game then is the Sharks and the Cowboys. Uh, for the Sharks, so Katoa's out suspended. That's the only Katoa. Um, Sam Stone Street will make his debut on the wing. Um, Tapua drops out off the interchange bench and Braden Hamu Ueli will come onto the bench. And for the Cowboys, Murray Talung is out injured and Semi Valamai will come on to the wing. Mm-hmm. And they're all, all ISO 2 is some rumours going around. Don't know how true they are that Reese Robson has got a knee injury and may not play this game. Yeah, don't uh, don't don't do what everyone did last week and lose their minds because that is just a rumour at the moment. Mm. Yes. So don't <laughs> it's wait till absolute yeah. confirmation. And you see something from a reputable source because sometimes uh, nefarious people put around these rumours on purpose just to really stuff with our brains. Um, Iro, I, I don't uh, – now, I, I did mention him earlier. Mm. Um, the interesting thing here is is that there is a position available on the wing because Katoa is out, and yet they've chosen to keep Iro in the centres and they've chosen to keep Talakai coming off the bench. That tells me that that centre spot is now Kyle Iroh's going forward. That's You know, would I think so, think. wouldn't you? Yeah. I mean, unless unless the only other thing is that maybe Iroh's not a winger and they just prefer him as a centre. Same with Talakai. You would yeah. never have Talakai on the wing. You'd only oh. have him in the centres too. So, um, yeah, look. Tony, Will- to- Tony Williams yeah. used to be a winger. <laughs> 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 yeah. If I tell you what, it'd be a big unit to be a wing at Talakai, that's for sure. Oh, scary. Scary. Um, anything in this game, Brad, that you like at all? Any any other than Iroh, um, obviously. I mean, I think he's going to be high, probably number one traded in, which we'll have a look at shortly. But uh, If you've got Nico Hines, uh, there's your captain right there in the last game. That's you reckon? Oh, I... Reckon. Well, I, I even on a bad day, you've seen it. You've seen it time and time again. He's like, yeah. he's just like Cleary. Um, on a, even on a bad day, they can get beaten by twenty points. He'll still rock up with seventy mm. to eighty points. Eighty-two last week and did really nothing, did he? No, but what did he get? Ninety points or something? Didn't he? I think he got eighty odd or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he still went pretty bloody good. Yeah. Um, yeah. So there, there's nothing. Oh, who knows these. Edge players too for the um for the Cowboys. They're all a bit of a worry. I mean, you probably saw some of my comments last week. Nanai um, put up something like uh, what, what did he put? It? Did he get thirty points? Did he get around thirty with a try? Yeah, thirty. He got thirty <laughs> with a try. So mm, yeah. ima- imagine how much his base is. And Funalaki, he isn't really going all that much better either. Mm. If people jumped on him, you'd be a little bit disappointed at this stage. Yeah. Um, uh, but they've nearly got a four-man bench there too, which sort of uh, a four-man forward bench because Grand will often plays up the middle in the lock area um, when he comes on. He does a little bit of hooking, but uh, if Robson's out, he might be doing a lot more. <laughs> mm. All right, Brad, that's all the game's done. Let's have a quick look at the trade-in and trade-outs just quickly right. and see where, yep. where, where they're rolling at. Um, Hammer's number one trade-out makes sense. Burbo's number two. See you later. Yep. Bostock's interesting at number three, Brad. I don't think this is. I think this is a not not a priority trade. This is a luxury trade. Certainly, is a luxury trade. Can I just go back to one step before that? If you've got Burbo, um, he is not necessarily uh, an an urgent trade mm. unless you absolutely have to. The reason is he's three hundred and fifteen. That's bugger all. So you're not like make you're not doing a trade to to earn yourself a heap of cash. 
Um, the next thing is his BE when he does comes back is okay. Um, but uh, if he, yeah, it, it's not going to actually buy you um, a great, yeah, it, it's, it's not like you can downgrade. You can only really upgrade Burbo. And he has a dual position, which is just a beautiful thing. I've already used it about three times this year, forward, you know, go from the forwards back to centres, et cetera. Um, and that's probably why Hutcho is still in my team for only that reason, because I can keep moving him around. <laughs> All right, well, I'm just going to give you, I'll give you the top two, and I think yep. that kind of makes sense, Brad. I think I don't hate this. Uh, number one's going to cut, uh, is to Iroh, and number two is to Angus. So, yep. You know, you get some change going down, or you or you pay a bit more to get Angus. Yeah, yeah. I'll probably be doing both. So yeah. Yeah. Number four, Zach Hoskins. He's injured. See you later, Luke Brooks. We've already spoken about number six, Drew Hutchinson. Brad. Um, I think he's done his job. Four fourteen k, starting to leak a little bit of cash. Not a high break even, but I think that's a good downgrade to Iro. Or you know, depending on duels, you could also go up to Angus or something as well. Yep. Uh, number seven's Cam Murray suspended. They've got the buyers. Well, not suspended, but he's got the HIA, but they've got the buy. Number eight's Blaze Talungi. Reverse that trade, I think, because as soon as he steps on that field, he'll make you cash. Number nine, Taylor May, who's playing. You could hold that trade um, if he does play. And number 10 is Justin Olam, who I think's done his job as well. Yep. Um, trade ins. Obviously, Iroh is number one, just under 20,000 trades. Angus is number two at 11,000. And T. Marie Martin's number three at 6,000. We've spoken about him. Uh, number four is Joey Manu. Again, we've touched on him, not convinced, especially at 760K in the centers. Bronson Terry, I thought would be higher up. He's only 2,300 traded in, Brad. Yeah, but we have we've indicated that he is a very risky trade in mm. there, you know. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh Zach Lomax number six, we've discussed him. We all agree that we probably isn't a good trade in this week. Number seven makes no sense despite the fact that he's killing it. He's CNK, Brad. He's only available at fullback. Yeah, yeah. I like um, uh, yeah, I don't know. Six eighty two K, you've got yeah. there's gotta be better options than him at that price. Could this be people who are having hammer at football? I would I would say that's what it'd be. I'll tell you yeah. right now. I mean, yeah. we can check here. Um, yeah, I, I don't I actually quite, you know. Uh, yeah, understand. hammer, hammer, and Burbo via jewels are yeah. the two top two are the first two. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Number eight, SJ. Um, you know, I contemplated doing this trade too, but I'm just going to wait for Cleary to come back. Number nine's Galvin. Yeah, I guess that's not a bad idea. Uh, and number 10, Xavier Willison, Brad. What's your thoughts on Willison as a trade in this week? I mean, you've got Haas coming back next week. It'd be interesting to see if he holds that bench spot. Oh, look, I think everybody who's seen him play agrees that he should have that yeah, bench. Yeah, 100%. Um, but, I, you know, we, we're not the coach. No. <laughs> We We're should not. be the coach sometimes. I think we've got more knowledge than bloody Desi Hasler does when you have a look at the mad sciences and what he puts up. But no, um, yeah, we all think he should be definitely a bit. I definitely should have him on the. And Desi looks fit. Oh, yeah. He looks you know, very you know, strong. Very strong, he, close to the line. He has not been in the same restaurant as Nuss. <laughs> or, or, or Josh Schuster. Or Josh Schuster. <laughs> Can't forget him too, bro. Yeah, different restaurant. Different. <laughs> one was a bu one was a buffet. Yeah, different <laughs> meal plan. Yeah. Different meal plan. Oh, uh, all right. I think we've kind of touched on it, Brad. Just quickly, your trades for this week. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to be going the most popular route this week. Um, but well, maybe not. You know, I really like I really like DWZ as I said, uh, and then I will choose either. I will choose either. Angus or Iro, I'm not sure which one yet. Iro looks the safest one to me, actually. To the truth, but we'll see. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to be I'm going to be going Angus, and the other one will be either Total or a Mister DWZ as well for me to replace Hammer and Salmon, who's done his job as well. I think as well, um, yeah. for sure. So that's it. Yeah. Yep. That's it. Yep. 
Yep. Um, thanks again to our sponsors, Bluebet. Um, if you didn't hear the other night, we did actually jag our first multi of the year of $285, which will be donated to the Brisbane Children's Hospital. So thanks again to Brett and the team at Bluebet. And we'll load up again this week and hopefully back it up again, Brad, and win another one. Yeah, yeah, we went pretty uh, – we were, had some pretty safe options, although it was left uh, – the last leg was the Canberra game. We had Canberra to win. Which I forgot about. <laughs> Which, unbelievably, yes. It, uh, it wasn't until we got the notification from Bluebet yeah. that we actually won. That, um, mm. But, no, no, do go check out Bluebet. Uh, very thankful for our sponsors there for that. Get some good money for the Children's Hospital as well. Gamble responsibly. And and shout out to Timmy who's had, had his uh, successful surgery on his uh what was it on he's had some sort of surgery done. He's recovering well. Good day, Timmy. Hope you're doing well. Behave yourself in the hospital, mate. All right. Well, he keeps telling us it's neck surgery and back surgery, but I I, <laughs> I, I, I got a feeling he's had a vasectomy and he just ah. He doesn't want to tell us that he's, uh, he, his breeding days are over. Oh, I can't blame him. He's got four or five kids, hasn't he? He needs to stop somewhere. That's it. That's Jesus it. Right. Christ. So anyway, Blue Balls, I hope you have a good one. Recover, mate. Oh, God. Well, thanks, Brad, for jumping on again. That's TLT and Trade Trends Round 7. Uh, we will see you Sunday night for our Round 7 wrap with our special guest, Timmy Williams, from the Supercoach Playbook podcast. Until then, have a good night and good luck for this week. Ah, good night, everybody, and thank you.